I've done countless of these videos highlighting the fact that older XXs are not worth giving the world or a commitment, and today we're going to show you why staying single is the best thing to do if you value your finances and sanity. We all know why it's dumb for men to commit to an older woman, just the fact that they're single when they're at their lowest value should already show you that messing with them is a red flag. I don't know what more you guys need to see to convince you that these older XXs are not commitment material, but you do to you. Unless the woman got widowed and you can confirm that she was a good wife, I wouldn't touch her with a 10-foot pole, let alone commit, and that's where I stand. The reason why I'm hell-bent on avoiding commitment with this age demographic is because I'll be paying top dollar for a woman at her worst, physically and financially. Knowing that, why would I choose to do that when I can get something cheaper and better? That's like me rationalizing buying an old car over a newer model car for double the cost of the new vehicle. Mathematically, and in the long term, it doesn't make sense, and I apply the same logic to dating older women. I will admit, however, that the bedroom fun with older XXs will be better than with younger women if you can see past the soggy skin, stretch marks, varicose veins, and C-section scars. I will admit that they'll know how to please you, but I don't see that as a valid reason to commit to one. Have your fun with them, gentlemen, I'm not saying that you must not have fun, but I think that wifing up these women will be one of the worst decisions of your life, especially if they end up divorcing you when you're near retirement and initiate a gray divorce. See, you guys never think about the long-term implications of getting married to an older woman and how it can impact your life if it goes south. But a gray divorce will undoubtedly mess you up financially for the rest of your retirement years because it will be damn near impossible to have enough money to retire. The reason why it's so dangerous is because you won't have enough time to work and recuperate the money you lost in a divorce because you're too old. Many of you don't think this far ahead, but if you get a divorce in your mid-50s or older, you'll be financially ruined for the rest of your life unless you're well off or your ironclad prenup saves you. I know a lot of men who end up in this position, and they have no hopes of retiring. At best, they'll work until they drop dead on the floor if their kids don't step in and take care of them later on. Do you want to end up in that position over a woman? Not me, and that's why I won't marry any woman because I know the risk isn't worth the consequence of a divorce. The next thing you guys have to think about is an older woman is likely to get sick as the years go by, and if you're with them, they'll have to foot that bill. Are you guys prepared for that? Because you know it's going to happen at some point in the relationship, especially if they're past the age of 35, so do you want to take on that responsibility? I don't. There's no way I'm paying for a woman's medical bill when I don't have to, so you guys have to think long and hard if you're cool taking on that responsibility. And what if she gets a terminal illness like breast cancer or a stroke? Can you afford to pay for that medical and long-term care? If the answer is no, then date younger healthy women. This should be at the forefront of your mind if you plan on dating older women because a trip to the doctor is inevitable the older they get, and you'll have to help pay for it if you're in a committed relationship. Also, you have to think about trauma and mental health illness. It is more common for older ex-exes who have been on the rooster carousel for over a decade to suffer from trauma or mental health issues. Many of them have been getting it in with dudes from a very young age, much younger than you'd want to know. Are you guys prepared to deal with that? What about the women who have been divorced or are single moms? Can you deal with that trauma, drama, and baggage they got from their baby daddies or ex-husbands? If not, do not proceed because it will be your problem at some point in the relationship. And let's say that the woman you're messing with has never been married or has any kids. That alone is a red flag to me because I would want to know what she's been doing throughout her prime selection years that no man wanted to commit. Do you see what I mean? You guys have to think about all these things before diving in feet first with older XXs. The mental health situation should be an automatic no in my books. If you guys still choose to mess with XXs who have been diagnosed with a mental health illness or take head meds, you deserve what you get. There is no reason why you should date or commit to an XX with mental health issues. Just avoid those XXs like the plague if you don't want to F up your life. You can have bedroom fun with them, but dating or a commitment should be out of the question. What about terrible debt? Most of these older XXs are in an atrocious financial situation and expect a man to pay it off for them when they marry. Are you going to pay off your wife's debt? If the answer is no, then you better date younger women who may or may not have any debt. At least they won't require or expect you to pay off their debts. You have to think long and hard before you decide to date older XXs because most of them have baggage and are struggling financially. It's not even close, gents. Most older women are flat out broke and their only hope is to get a gump to pay off their debts or get their retirement through a divorce. This is the fin s game that they play and you fools fall for it because you're not thinking with your big head or you feel guilty dating younger women.
And look, I'm not telling you to seriously date or commit to a younger woman either because they are messed up and cannot be trusted. I'm just telling you that older XXs carry much more baggage that shouldn't be overlooked. With that said, let's look at some evidence of why men are not dating older XXs and what the results are when women end up with no man. We'll go over a video by our boy FBE Capital, and his video will be linked in the description box below. Let's dive into it. 53% of marriages end in divorce in New York State. So if I said to you there's a 53% chance that when you walk out the front door today, you're gonna get hit in the head with a bowling ball, you would either stay inside or at a minimum you would wear a helmet which is exactly why some men are simply playing the field but not committing, while others have completely checked out. And this brings us to the original question, why are men not committing to women? Or why are men not even showing up to date these women? Well, there are two main reasons for this. The first is simply women selecting men that clearly do not want commitment. Take this girl for instance. But every single time this happens, I always tell myself like, oh, you'll get over it. Or like, you're over him. <laughs> It'll be fine, right? All right, this is what the women do in their prime selection years. They date men that make them leak but don't want to commit to them. They ignore the men that want to commit to them, or even if they get a man that wants to commit to them, they'll sabotage the relationship and go back to the streets with or without a child. This happens more often than not. They make bad decisions throughout their younger years, then expect nice guys and good men to clean up their mess when they hit the biological and physical wall, and the attention decreases significantly from the men they want. Only a fool would choose to take that deal, knowing the woman is only settling because they can't get the top tier men to commit anymore. Let's continue. She's a very attractive woman and she seems to be very nice, a bit crazy perhaps, but still very nice. So I'm sure plenty of guys would love to take her on a date or be in a relationship with her, but somehow she's getting ghosted non-stop. I, I haven't blocked his number and he hasn't texted me since he ghosted me. He hasn't, not once. He, he ghosted me once and then he ghosted me twice. The second time before he ghosted me, he's like, I want to make it up to you. I want to take you out on a date. I can't stop thinking about you. You did nothing wrong. Now, if we translate this disaster into male speech, then it's very clear she's a dude who has multiple options, all of which are better than her. And he's clearly not done playing with those options. This girl literally has the power to get married tomorrow if she truly wanted. But she chooses that one guy out of many who are willing, who is completely discarding her and treating her like trash. Again, they choose to date and mess with men who are not good for them, and that's why most women are single today. You'll have married women who leave their husbands so they can get a better deal, only to end up all alone in their 50s, 60s, and 70s. Whose fault is that? The woman's fault. They choose to lead good men, they choose to date and mess with men who don't want to commit, and they choose to follow womanism so they can have freedom and collect a paycheck. So why would you save these people? I don't know why you guys do it, but my advice is to leave these people alone or only mess with them casually. What do you bring to the table when you're in a relationship? Everything. Why would I qualify myself to you? What do you bring to the table? Everything. I bring the whole table. I see so many TikTok clapbacks from both men and women answering this dumb, dumb question. I adore this question because it always comes from men that I have absolutely zero intention of ever even looking at. Why are you worried about what I bring to the table? Can you imagine? What do you bring to the table? And the guy's like, this. Women would be like, um, so who pays the bills? And um, what does your car look like? And what kind of job do you have? And are you gonna take care of the family? And do you know how to like fight? Like if I was in trouble, like you're gonna protect me? And they'd have a whole list that you'd be checking off. He'd be like, well, I, you know, you can barely keep up. And they're just like this. So the real question is, after you guys save these older women, what will you guys get? Because they're telling you that they won't wash, cook, and clean for a man, and your money is their money, and their money is their money. So what are you guys going to get from these older XXs? I want to know because you guys are out here taking on a massive amount of baggage and responsibility for what? Many of you don't even come home and get a little piece of wet vice grip from your wives and girlfriends, so what are you sacrificing your peace, quiet, and freedom for? Nothing, apparently, based on what the woman in the video said, but you guys choose to date these people so you can't complain when they take advantage of you because other content creators and I told you to leave them alone and focus on yourself. You can take my advice or date older ex dexes but the truth is the juice isn't worth the squeeze, and the next video will show you why. 
This video is from CBS Evening News, and we're going to look at what happens to older XXs that didn't need a man and ended up alone. The video will be linked in the description box below. Let's dive into it. You guys are trying to get away. A walk with Rosie and Logan is a rare break for Marianne O'Connor. The puppies. Then she's back on her laptop, juggling two jobs. Sometimes up to 11 hours a day. What did you think you'd be doing at 66? Oh, I would hope I'd be retired. <laughs> and what are you doing at 66? I'm working my butt off. <laughs> well, this is what being strong and independent and refusing to wash, cook, and clean for a man leads to. This is what I don't need a man, and I'm going to focus on my career looks like. Can you imagine dating a woman like her a decade or two ago and dealing with all that baggage? You guys overlook how bad XX's lives are in your pursuit of peace leave, and then you commit to women who turn into the woman on your screen. I'm telling you guys that it's not worth it, do not date or commit to older XX's unless you want to end up divorced by someone like this and have your wealth and retirement stolen from you. And one more thing, I told you older XX's would struggle for the last 40 years of their lives. Just look at the position this older XX's chose to be in instead of getting married and staying faithful in her marriage. Don't save these people because they don't want to be saved. Let's continue. No savings, no 401k, not even enough to cover an emergency. She sold her home and with two other women bought a smaller one, living together to save money. Thank you very much. How has that been? Well, it's been a, a matter of life and death. Roughly half of all Americans, ages 55 to 66, have nothing saved for retirement. Spicy, yeah. O'Connor knew she'd be in that group, adopting and raising three children as a single mom. I have a live for now philosophy, I guess. How's that serving you now? Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> well, she has a live for now mentality, and now she doesn't have anything for retirement. She's done. When she was younger, I can bet she chose to get ramrodded by Chad and Tyrone, but neglected her future, and now look at her. Was it worth choosing segs, living it up in womanism over her life when she now has no hope of retirement or money set aside for long-term self-care? And no man chose to rescue her from her bad decisions. So if you guys think these women who are messing around on the CC are winning, just wait until they are in their 50s and 60s. They'll regret all the toe-curling segs and all the good men's lives they destroyed. I see it all the time, gents, they choose to follow womanism and then live to regret it when they're old and have nothing or nobody to help them. Then they turn out like that woman with a bunch of dogs and forced to live with other single women. Serves them right, they made their bed, so let them lie in it. If you guys still choose to date these people seriously after watching this video, whatever happens to you is your fault because you were warned. On the screen is our season 15 videos that are jam-packed with truth bombs and valuable information for all of you guys, so click it right now to get some hardcore crimson capsules.